Today I'm gonna go over my pure punk deck powered up by the latest selection pack, most specifically Deer Note, which is a crazy card, completely changing how powerful punk can really be. And after that, I'll go over some combos with it. The power level of pure punk is kind of comparable to Sprite in where it is a pretty small engine and this allows you to play a bunch of non-engine. You will notice this deck has just a billion hand traps and that means going second, we can disrupt our opponent very well and go Going first, we're actually going to be building a board, drawing a lot of cards and then drawing into so many hand traps that our opponent is unable to play, even if they like Nibiru our board away. So first of all, we have Driver. This card is a complete brick that is required to be played for Gamma. We will get to that later. Then we're playing Triple Effect Failure. Again, not the greatest hand trap, but it is one we can draw into both on our turn and our opponent's turn and then still have like solid disruption. So it definitely makes a cut. Then we have Triple Maxi, which is basically the strongest hand trap ever. Now we have to Gamma. Now Gamma is the one where people might start disagreeing. But the reason we are playing Gamma is actually that it has extra synergy with this deck beyond what you might be expecting. For example, if we activate a Foxy Tune or Emergency Teleport, it is actually entirely possible that our opponent will then go Ash or, even better, Max C. Since both of these cards would special summon something. And so they think, cool, I'm going to start drawing cards. However, our field is still empty. And so we can activate Gamma to not only negate and destroy said hand trap of theirs, but then also make a level 8 Synchro, which then makes our deck even better. So when you draw your Gamma, even though it is only a two-off, if you draw it together with a Foxy Tune or a Teleport, you can essentially fuck over Maxi as well as Ash just like that. Now, beyond that, you can also simply use it when going second to stop your opponent from playing the game. It is also incredibly powerful on the Sprite deck because if your opponent normal summons a Life Twin or they special summon the Runic Fusion or they normal summon Nimble Beaver and they activate that effect, you simply go Gamma and that monster is now dead, meaning they lost their normal summon and they don't have a level 2 on the board anymore, so now they can't special summon any sprites. This means they now have to activate sprite starter or they simply pass turn. They don't have any combo anymore. This is also why people were siding Gamma when sprite was being played in the TCG, because Gamma basically was a turn ender unless they then also had sprite starter in their hand. So Gamma is like the most crazy hand trap possible here. It stops Maxi, it stops Ash, it creates our level Level 8 Synchros, which Punk is really known for. And beyond that, yeah, that's not all. If we do our whole Punk combo and we didn't need Emergency Teleport, but we did draw Emergency Teleport, we can actually teleport out the Gamma and then with the three level 8 bodies that our normal combo makes, we can make a Baron. So for that reason, Gamma, while at 2 and definitely annoying with the Driver Brick, it's just broken in this deck. Also, the Punk lines will always need one empty discard because Foxy Tune requires that discard. And so even if you draw Driver, it's not the end of the world. The one Brick has to be discarded carded by Foxy Tune anyway. Next in the hand trap lineup, we have Ghost Ogre, which is just an okay hand trap, not the most insane, but still you can draw into it on your opponent's turn and still have it be useful. I keep on mentioning this because drawing on our opponent's turn is something Punk can actually do extremely well because it has the field spell Jam Extreme Session. And so if you pay the 600 for Shirakusai on our opponent's turn to then synchro with it on our opponent's turn, then the Jam Extreme Session will draw us cards. So even in our opponent's turn, we will be drawing into more hand traps. So for that reason, having them be drawable into is very, very important. And Ghost Ogre is one of those, while Imperm is not. Another interesting thing about Ghost Ogre is that if you were able to combo without activating Emergency Teleport, you can simply set your Emergency Teleport. And now the Teleport can turn into an Ogre on your opponent's turn, and that is one more disruption. Next, we have Triple Ash, because Ash stops Max C. Then we have two Punk Shirakusai. Shirakusai is a pretty weird one, because ideally in your combo, you don't always need it, at least not in like the most most basic Chaos Ruler line, but it is so good in like all of the other further lines or when you get hand trapped that uh, it's definitely worth at two. Then we have one Wagon. Wagon basically searches for spell cards. Specifically in this case, only Jam Extreme Session, but more on that later. Next we have one Madam Spider because Madam Spider is able to search for our trap card. And so depending on how we open, this will be searched in the combo
combo and that gives us one more piece of disruption. Also, it's non-monster disruption, so if your opponent Dark Rulers you or Nibirus you, you don't really care because, you know, you will still have it just as a trap. Next, we have the best punk in the game. It is Z Amin. Z Amin can just search any other punk. It's basically like Sprite Blue, but worse because it's not Sprite. With that being said, it is very, very splashable into other decks, so maybe it's better than Sprite Blue in a weird way. Next, we have one Deer Note. Now, some people might want to run two. That would be fine. I'm not opposed to the idea of two Deer Notes, but for now, I am still on one. Maybe that's because I was always playing the punk as a smaller engine inside a bigger deck, but hey. Then we have Triple Foxy Tune. Foxy Tune is like the best extender in this deck. It can search other punks, uh, regardless of your normal summon and so forth. It's like a weaker emergency teleport. Then we have Triple Ogre Dance. This basically searches for other punks that aren't level 8, which is very, very powerful. And we have one Nibiru, so we have something to draw into of Max C. But this is like a really good example of a hand trap you don't want to draw as you are comboing. If you go second and your opponent is comboing and you have this in your hand, cool, it's an awesome hand trap. But if you are making your board and then drawing cards with Jam Extreme Session, you don't really want to draw a Nibiru. You don't want to nuke your own board. And in your opponent's turn, once again, you, maybe you draw a card with Jam Extreme Session, you would still don't want to Nibiru your own board. Ideally, you don't want your opponent breaking the board. So why would you break it yourself? That's why this is currently only at one for me. Next, we have two Jam Extreme Session. I know some people like to play only one, but personally, I find Jam Extreme Session just an incredibly broken card. I don't actually mind just opening it and then comboing. Then I don't have to search a wagon in the combo either. But like I said, I'll be going over some combos later down in the video. Then we have two Emergency Teleport. It's very sad how in this game, there's only two of this little beautiful card. Uh, in the TCG, it's actually a three, and so that makes the punk deck much more consistent. Then we have two Called By, because we don't want to get Max Seed, and one Cross Out, because we don't want to get Max Seed. Triple Imperm, because it is one of the best hand traps right now, especially into Sprite. But it does have the issue where if you draw it off Jam Extreme Session in your opponent's turn, you cannot really do anything with it. So it's definitely worse in that case. If you would rather run Mourner over this for that reason, this little lady, you can. But personally, I don't own it. I don't want to craft it. And I do think Imperm in general is better into Sprite. So I think the payoff is better there. Finally, we have the Punk Trap, which is basically like a weak Imperm, but it's one that you can search in engine, which makes it very strong. Now, a final card you want to consider maybe is Gizmic or Roach. This was a pretty strong card that people were running in the punk deck, but I think it was better because people were also constantly making zombie vampire and so they were like milling a bunch and the odds of finding this card were much higher because of that. The issue with that right now is that I don't want to mill my opponent when they are playing runics because that just means that the runic fountain is going to draw them more cards. So for that reason, I don't really know if I like Gizmic. It's still a really powerful card, great level 8 extender that then makes our other level 11s much easier. So it's definitely something to consider. Now for the extra, I find this deck to have a lot of room, but that's maybe because I'm only playing one Amazing Dragon. If you think, hey, I actually do want to play more of the Jam Dragon, I want to play more of the Amazing, you can, and then you can cut some of the weirder slots I'm playing. So we have one of the Fusion Punk. This is basically part of the weirder lines in the combo when you get disrupted, or when you try to play it off with like a Shiraku Sai and stuff like that. Then we have Chaos Ruler. This is usually going to be the level 8 you make with Ziamin, unless it's Dram J Jam dragon drive both are valid it's just that chaos ruler is banned in the tcg and so people are you know getting more used to making jam dragon drive but there's also people who believe that jam dragon drive is better than chaos ruler in a punk deck i don't necessarily know which one is true but overall i do like both then we have jam dragon drive this is you know the other level h you would be making with your z amin basic combo it can also search for any level three psychic so that it's either one of the punks or if you already have all the punk love you need you can also just search ghost ogre because that's also a level 3 psychic so now you can just search a hand trap within your engine then baron like i said the only way we are making baron is when we can do punk combos without using teleport and then we teleport into gamma and then gamma plus any of the level eights makes a baron while that won't come up constantly i think baron is so damn broken we want to put it in anyway then we have one amazing dragon this is the thing we want to be synchroing on our opponent's turn to basically disrupt all of their place it's like nightmare unicorn on steroids and beyond that it's also really good going second then we have one Psychic and Punisher. This card is like a tower that your opponent can't get around. But in Punk it's even better because it gets extra big because Punks all pay life points. Next we have some rank 8s. Now why are we playing rank 8s? It's pretty simple. Our basic line of Z Amin finding Foxy Tune and then Foxy Tune specialing Deer Note and then Deer Note plus Z Amin making a level 8 Synchro and then Deer Note specialing out a Foxy Tune gives us a level 8 Synchro and a Foxy Tune which means we have two level 8s which means we can very easily make rank 8s in this deck 
for that reason, I have three pretty solid options here. First of all, Hope Harbinger is just a spell negate. Dingirsu is a great board breaker, as well as board protector. And Zombie Vampire is the whole mill shabam. Now, if you feel like, hey, I can actually make level threes really easily in this deck, you might also want to consider playing like a rank three, maybe something like a Phantom Knight Breaksword. Then finally, we have a Zeus, because again, making Xyzes in this deck is pretty easy. Then we have one Lambda. If you drew into Gamma of your jam session, it can still be pretty cool to just make a Lambda in your combo and that way have access to Gamma because it is a powerful hand trap. Though I'm not sure how often that is really going to come up, but it's something I'm considering, so I put it in the list. If this is something you don't think will come up for you or you don't have this card, simply play a Phantom Knight Breaksword or some other rank 3 you like. I'm sure that will also come up. Next, we have IP. Just in case we somehow want to put an IP on our board, this is going to be very rare. Overall, I feel like the this is like one of those decks where the extra deck just has a billion slots that don't really matter. The initial versions of the Punk deck were playing Hulk and Selene and Formula Synchron and this other stuff and all, none of that is even legal anymore. So now we're just like, oh, look at all this room. Next we have Dark. The only way we're making Dark is with Ogre Dance or going second with Chaos Ruler, which is where you're really going to be using Dark. Next, Nightmare Unicorn in order to break boards and an access code to go for the OTK. Overall though, the most often used cards are definitely going to be our Synchros. Punk is really a Synchro archetype and then maybe sometimes the XCs. The rest, yeah, going second, kind of weird stuff. IP mm, doesn't really come up, but we'll see. Now let's do some test hands. So looking at this hand, things are looking pretty swell overall. Like I mentioned before, this hand actually lets us completely destroy Max C. If we activate Foxy Tune here and our opponent Max sees us, we can negate it with Gamma, special a driver, and then the Gamma plus the driver make one of our level 8 synchros, while the Foxy Tune by itself is gonna then make the rest of the combo. So that is absolutely incredible. However, since we're playing against a non-opponent, basically to just show you a quick test hand, uh, none of that is relevant. So I'll just be discarding the Gamma this time. So I'm going to activate Foxy Tune. I'm going to get rid of our Gamma, even though, again, that might be useful with a Lambda and stuff like that. We're going to get our Ziam in here. And normally, you would now hold the Emergency Teleport to see if you get interrupted by your opponent in any way. But because we're playing against no one, I'm going to be greedy and just draw a billion cards with Teleport plus Wagon and so forth. So I'll activate Teleport and that will special out our Wagon. Again, this is greedy. It's just to show you how crazy we can really go. Wagon is then going to get our Jam Extreme Session, which will allow us to draw a bunch of cards. Then we activate Ziamin. We already activated Foxy Tune, so we are simply going to grab a Shirakusai. Jam Extreme Session is going to draw us a card. It drew us a Gamma. Okay. We will summon the Shirakusai. We will use its effect to make the fusion. And now because we already drew the Gabu, uh, we won't be able to search it. This might actually be an argument for playing two Gabu, but I don't really want to brick on it. Next, we will activate Jam Extreme Session. And now this is pretty important. We can actually chain block the Jam Extreme Session so it can't get ashed by activating the uh, Ziamin after that. Now, it's not necessarily that important because, you know, the attack gain doesn't do anything. But hey, if you want to chain block something, you can. So we get some extra attack on that thing and then Jam Extreme Session draws us a card. Now, interestingly, right now, because we drew a Foxy Tune, the Jam Extreme Session can actually also special summon the Foxy Tune, but I don't see the point in that. So instead, I'm simply going to activate the Rising Carp. This will then give us access to Deer Note. And normally, you could do something like getting this to get yourself a Gabu, but we already have Gabu, so much better is going to be the Shirakusai, because Shirakusai is actually going to be an interrupt on our opponent's turn. Next, let's Special Summon. Uh, we can go for Chaos Ruler or Dragon Drive here, but I would rather have the Hand Trap now. So how about we just um, go for the Hand Trap add now. So we Special Summon our Dragon Drive, and we activate the Deer Note. And now the Deer Note can special summon a variety of things. If you didn't search a Shirakusai earlier with your Rising Carp, you could revive the Shirakusai now, so you still have access to the Synchro on your opponent's turn. But if you don't, you can now just grab anything. So let's just take a Ziamin. Maybe we need that for follow-up somehow. And then the Dragon Drive now adds us our Ghost Ogre. Now we could go even further. Again, we could activate the Jam Extreme Session, special summon the Foxy Tune. Foxy Tune plus Ziamin makes a Psychic End Punisher and then pass it to our opponent while the Shirakusai, during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can pay 600 life. Immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro summon one Punk Synchro monster using monsters you control as material. So this Jam Dragon, together with this Shirakusai, will be making the Amazing Dragon, and then the Amazing Dragon will bounce your opponent's field, which is absolutely crazy. Now, another option we have is we can use the Jam Extreme Session to special summon the Foxy Tune, and then the Xiamen plus the Foxy Tune can turn into Lambda, again, Lambda right here, so that our Gamma is live, and we have, again, like, one 
more interruption. So all of those options are definitely valid. I'm just trying to show you like, hey, you know, there's a lot of options here. So uh, how about we do th that last one? You know, just, just to show you, I'll activate the Jam Extreme session, getting rid of, let's say, this Foxy tune. Then I will special summon this right here. And now if our opponent is holding a nib for a long time, this can also actually keep us safe from nib. So now we get rid of the Dragon Drive and the Ziamin in order to make our Lambda. There we go. What a beautiful baby. So just like this, we end on having still four cards in hand. We have a way to turn Gamma Life. And these two are going to be synchroing in our opponent's turn into an amazing dragon, which then uh, bounces our opponent's field. We also have four interrupts right here. We have Gabo, which is basically an imperm. We have a cross out. We have a ghost over a gamma. And don't forget, because of Jam Extreme Session, we're also going to draw one more card. Really crazy board. And the lines I did were very weird because we already drew into the Gabu and I was like a super greedy ass. There were definitely like inefficiencies there. But it just goes to show that like the, the punk engine can just be extremely flexible when you need it to be. So once again, we drew the Gabu. This card seems to be glued to my hand. This time we did not open the teleport, but we did open the Ziamin. So let's just go activate Ziamin and that's going to add us our Foxy tune. Then Foxy tune is going to activate and we're going to use the second effect, getting rid of the second Ziamin to special summon this Sharakusai. Next, we will activate Sharakusai to make a rising card. I'm just trying to show you what happens when we use one Ziamin, by the way to make our rising card. If you wanted to play around other hand traps, by the way, you could have not chosen to get rid of the Z Amin when Foxy Tune activated and then Ogre Dance could search a Deer Note and then Deer Note could special summon itself by getting rid of the Z Amin if you were to get hand trapped. But I'm being greedy just to show you, you know. Activate the rising card. Now this will get us our Wagon and our Deer Note. I'm going to activate the Wagon for our Jam Extreme Session. Going to activate Jam Extreme Session. Now I'll make a Jam Dragon Drive. Jam Dragon Drive and Deer Note are activating and once again we're going to end with a Sharakusai on our field so we can amazing dragon in our opponent's turn. So the Deer Note summons back the Sharakusai and the Dragon Drive is adding us our... Um, here it kind of depends. If you didn't draw your Gabu you would take the Madam Spider because then the Madam Spider will add you the trap while simultaneously also drawing you a card of Jam Extreme Session. But because I drew the Gabu we now cannot do that. So instead, I'll just grab the Ghost Ogre because that is one more hand trap in our hand. And now, because we just used 600 life points again with Jam Dragon Drive, the Jam Extreme Session is also going to allow us to draw one more card. And just like that, we are once again holding a five card hand, one of which is like our little punk imperm. And these then in our opponent's turn will be making an amazing dragon. Don't forget that this Jam Extreme Session then will draw one more card because the Sharagusai is all also costing us life points. And once again, if we didn't draw our one kind of brick Gabu, uh, we could have also searched Madam Spider to then draw one more card. So there's definitely an argument, if you don't mi mind the brickiness of Gabu, that you can play a second one. This way you can always search the second Gabu, which isn't necessarily bad either. But since it's a once per turn, you know, it's not the greatest card either to play doubles off. But yeah, that is basically how punk combos work. Hope you found this very interesting. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.